Imagine being from New York City and being able to pick up a Section 8 rental property for only $20,000 out of your pocket. Sounds insane, but it's not. I'm going to help you do so right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show is for my man, Johan. What's up, baby? You got about 30 G's to use as a down payment to get an investment property. What I got for you today, brother, is only going to require about 20K. A lot of you are like, what? How's this dude getting him a Section 8 rental for 20K? Well, we're going to do it out of state, folks, because you know the New York City market is jacked. Johan knows it. That's why he came to me, because I help investors like you purchase investment properties around the USA in the best cash flow markets, and my team handles all the -the on-the-ground work. So, folks, if you want to work with me like you're about to watch me work with Johan, uh, click the notes below. Book a free call at my team. Johan, you sit tight because I'm going to bring up the property, the market, the numbers, the whole shebang, the financing, all of it, right now. Hi, my name is Terry, and given my unique status as an undead killer clown, i found my job opportunities to be fairly limited throughout my life. Then, once the COVID shutdowns hit, I, like many other Americans, found myself in a really tough financial position. After I lost my job, I couldn't even take care of my wife and kids, let alone think about anything like financial freedom. All my hope was lost. I was stuck in a downward spiral of despair and drinking. I was looking for answers, but I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know what to do. Then, then one day, everything changed for me. I discovered Holton Wise TV and how to invest in real estate. And my whole world, my whole outlook changed. And it could do the same for you if you click the link below. Welcome back, folks. Love me some Section 8, right? And that's what we're doing today, okay? Section 8. Now, first of all, we should talk about Section 8 a little bit. People are always like, oh, Section 8 means you're going to get bad tenants. I don't like Section 8 tenants. You guys are actually thinking backwards. You should be focused on the asset class, the neighborhood grade, right? This particular Section 8 property is in the Cleveland market. I have put a guide out. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. It is linked below, or you can Google it. It's also on the Tools and Resource tab, HoltonWise.com. A to F scale. Check it out. The neighborhood is what's going to like determine the type of tenants you get. And then from there, when you're in like C or D neighborhoods, folks, you're going to get C or D tenants, okay? It's not like you're in A neighborhoods and then like, like first of all, if you're in A neighborhoods, why are you doing Section 8, right? If you're in A neighborhoods, like the cash paying tenants or B neighborhoods, the cash paying tenants, right? Uh, there's, there's a bunch of them, take those. But when you get to C and D neighborhoods and you're only getting C and D type tenants, C and D type tenants uh, paying with 100% consistency or 95% consistency or things of that nature becomes less common, right? That's why when you're in those neighborhoods, the Section 8 tenants are actually better for you because in the C and D neighborhoods, collecting rent most of the time or all the time becomes more difficult. So then the path of least resistance to getting rent all the time is to get those government guaranteed tenants, right? So think of it that way, right? So the higher the level of risk of the neighborhood and the property, the more important and the more safe it is to go Section 8, right? And this particular property in Cleveland, priced at 85, but I believe we'll be able to get it for you for 80, is the ticket, right? Just chilling right here, okay? Just two... Two pictures. So it's actually one picture, twice. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. That's normal. It's because it's tenant occupied. Now, currently, there's a long term month to month Section 8 tenant in there for 845 But the thing is, this is a 4 2. And with a four bedroom voucher, two bathrooms, I am confident we can get Section 8 to pay 1100 for that. You see, I have a whole Section 8 fact on HoltonWise.com. What you have to understand is just because this tenant is a Section 8 tenant does not necessarily mean they have a four bedroom voucher. Uh, it could be. They had like a two-bedroom or a three-bedroom voucher, and the landlord, the current landlord, put them in there at that case. Uh, the more 
bedroom voucher, the higher the level of bedrooms on your voucher you have, the more Section 8 will pay. Uh, they could have also put this tenant in there a very, very long time ago. But today, the current market, four bed, two bath, Section 8 homes, we should be able to get 1100 So we're going to lobby Section 8 to increase that rent. And if they can't, if they don't, on the next tenant turnover, that is going to be our market rate. Now, if you're looking at this, right, what does a four-bedroom Section 8 rental look like on a cash flow perspective? Well, it's going to bring in approximately 13200 a year in rent, but you're not going to keep that. Paying my team to handle all the property management, the maintenance, the construction, the insurance, I believe at the end of the day you'll net approximately 7500 uh, as far as purchasing the asset, if I can get it for you for 80, you put up 20, bank kicks in 60. That is a long term projection of 23%, right? That's why Section 8 is so powerful, right? The fact that this is a four bedroom house with two bathrooms is really going to allow us to maximize that rent, right? The Cleveland market's an amazing market, folks. It is very rare to be able to find something for 80K where you only put down 20K that kicks off $1,100 in government guaranteed rent. Now, that's not to say the Cleveland neighborhood is perfect that's not to say this house is perfect there's some issues here right uh, one is the house has not been lead certified by the city of cleveland there's new lead certifications in the cleveland market i made a video i linked to it below you better watch that video if you don't watch that video and you try to invest in the cleveland market you're doing yourself a disservice you need to know about that stuff this property's not been lead certified however it's not the boogeyman i do not believe this property is going to have a large cost to get it lead certified. Why? Because it's got aluminum siding and it's got vinyl windows, okay? When you get these properties lead certified, folks, 99% of your costs are going to be in those two type areas, right? The exterior wood siding and or the original wood windows. Most of the people that get these huge $20,000, $40,000 lead cert bills, it's because they have old wood siding on gigantic houses or duplexes. They got to drop like fifteen k plus uh, to, to, to encapsulate it to vinyl side them, right? This one's got aluminum. You don't got to worry about that. Second huge cost, you got tenants in there. You got the old wood windows. You fail. You got to do all vinyl windows, but you don't get to just do it. You got to do it under lead safe uh, renovation standards. Increases your cost, right? You don't have to worry about that here. You will have a little bit of work, though. Uh, these, right? These are wood, and they're peeling a little bit, so you'll have to take care of that. Uh, this paint is chipping off, but it's aluminum sided, so it shouldn't be lead paint, but we'll obviously want to take care of that. You probably have some peeling on the porch. So know that when we do go to lead certify this, you will have a little bit of cost, but I expect it's only be a couple grand. should be very, very minimal because you got the aluminum siding. You got the vinyl windows. All told, this sucker is going to kick off a ton, a ton of passive cash flow for investors. I really like this neighborhood quite a bit in addition to uh that what you got to understand we're right here in the brooklyn center neighborhood hop skip and a jump away from uh metro health Where the he i'm having trouble here we go see this right here all this this is the metro health campus right here okay right up in here folks metro health they're investing a billion dollars into that campus and the surrounding neighborhood, okay? And you also have, like, Regional Transit Authority kicked in, like, another $66 million. They're going to be doing affordable housing. This is essentially where you want to be. If you're in Cleveland, it's currently, like, a CD neighborhood, right? It's, like, in the middle. Uh, you want to be in a neighborhood where you get the Section 8 tenants now, the price-to-rent ratio is great, but potentially you have the opportunity for appreciation down the road because they're putting over a billion friggin' dollars in just north. This, folks, any way you slice it, is a home run. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.